Uncertain multiple stock size cutting stock problems is a bit of a mouthful. So I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. So first of all, cutting stock problem. You've got some stock, raw material, which you need to cut into products so you can satisfy demand. In this example here, we've got uh, cakes as our stock. Uh, so the whole cakes are our stock. Uh, the products are uh, big slice, small slice, and medium sized slice. And we've got demands for slices of cakes. When we have multiple stock sizes, it means the cakes aren't the same size. So this makes solving the problem harder. And when you add uncertainty to that, which could be uncertainty in the form of the number of stock you have or the demand you have, it becomes a, a more difficult problem to solve. Right. I like cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The goal of any um, cutting stock problem is to satisfy demand and minimize waste. And uh, when you add uncertainty to that, it makes this more difficult. So there are three areas of uncertainty I'm looking at. The first is in cutting patterns. And a cutting pattern is just a way of dividing your stock or your cakes so you can satisfy demand. So here, the first image, we have uh, three big slices. Second, you can have three medium-sized slices or one big slice and so on and so forth. And then when you have uncertainty in the stock data, I'm looking at applying statistical techniques to make sure the uncertainty doesn't affect the problem too much. And uh, finally, I'm also making a robust formulation of the problem. So in cases where the statistical techniques doesn't work, we still want to be able to solve the problem in a way such that we maximize uh, the demand satisfied and then we minimize waste. So just to conclude what I've shown you, um, I, I've taught you about a multiple stock size cotton stock problem. You've got uh, cakes of different sizes, which you need to divide into smaller products so you can satisfy demand. And I've looked at the uncertainty in the, um, in the cotton patterns, because depending on the kind of problem you have, you could have tens of thousands of patterns. So you need to choose the right one based on the demand profile, and I've also looked at the uncertainty uh, in, uh, I forgot my presentation, uncertainty in data. <laughs> so applying statistical techniques to, re to make sure the uncertainty isn't a factor. And finally, I'm applying a robust formulation of the problem so that in cases where the statistics don't work, we can still solve the problem to an acceptable degree. Thank you.